all my works look like somebody worked on it and just left. You have the feeling that it still can be changed, that it's a frozen moment. Life moves around it, but the thing stays the same. And it's very interesting. Mark Manders is a Dutch artist based in Belgium and has over the last 30 years developed an extraordinary body of work across a number of different disciplines, but really focusing around the realm of sculpture. Tilted Head is a new commission by the Public Art Fund. It's Mark's first public commission in New York City. Mark's work is often interested in polarities or paradoxes, the idea of a monumental public work, but also something that could look as if it was a small model in the artist's studio. And here he's working with some ideas of trompe l'oeil, of a material that is actually made from something different than the way it appears. It's made of cast once. I use it once quite often for pieces. I paint them and then they look like dry clay or wet clay. It still has this fragility, although it's very strong, of course. The work reveals itself quite differently depending on how you approach it. You have a quite beautifully wrought face. It's tilted, so it appears as if it might be sleeping. But at the same time, it's unfinished. We see what looks like raw clay. There's a suitcase. There are chairs. There are these pieces of wood in the rope. So there's this sense of fabrication, of holding this object together the way you might be working on a model in progress. It sort of opens a narrative. And one of the things I think Manders does is invite us as an audience to speculate, to create our own stories about the work itself. I really like that my piece is really in between the city and the park. To make something in a public space is very different than in a museum. You cannot control what's happening around it. But the public is not looking for art. They just bump into it. I think it's very interesting, it's a different way of thinking. There are no endpoints in art. It's like a language that has to evolve. I think artworks become interesting when they are stronger than what you can think in one moment. You can always come back with it in your mind, but you can never really grab it anymore. And I'm always looking for that moment.